Well, we've got one more week to go in the regular season to determine some conference champions still, Chris, and also determine some playoff spots for Northern Michigan teams. We're going to start with the Lake Michigan Conference, the only major league in our area still yet to crown a champion, and they got a big one this Friday night. Why don't you tell us a little about it? Well, props to the schedule maker for putting Boyd and City and Grayling at the end of the schedule because obviously the winner of this game is going to win the Lake Michigan. Um, you're talking about the, the highest scoring offensive team in the Lake Michigan and Grayling against the stingiest defensive team in the Lake Michigan and Boyne City. So you can't ask for a better matchup than those two. You know, it's kind of going to be a po power against power and it's going to be, you know, who's going to come out on top on those two. Yeah, you don't want to sleep on either of those offenses. Uh, you hire up on Boynton City's defense, but their offense can pretty much score whenever they need to, too. they got a lot of weapons there. Move over now to Traverse City, Michigan, where under the bright lights of Thurlby Field, you're going to get two for the price of one on Friday night. Central West both in action. They did this last year, I remember. Uh, Central played in the early game, and St. Francis was in the second game. This time around, you got Central West, both the Trojans and Titans looking for wins to ensure that they're in the playoffs. Maybe West is in no matter what. We don't know for sure, but that for sure to guarantee that they're in. They need to get these wins. Tell us about the doubleheader. Yeah, obviously they both have to get those six to that six win mark to guarantee, and they both need to win this week to do it. It's going to be real interesting for, for West starting out with Allendale. Uh, you know, they're going to be a tough team for them. I believe they're ranked in Division Four, number mm -hmm. seven in the state. They have a common opponent in being Comstock Park, a team that West lost to by eight points. Allendale lost to them by two. That's their only loss in the season. So, you know, and I don't know if how, how much you can put stock in that, but it's still going to be interesting to see how that, that plays out. And then as far as Central, you know, they've still got a shot to, to get in the playoffs. They play Cadillac. Uh, for Cadillac, still a big game for them, too. They have, a, have to win the Big North Conference outright because they're only a half game ahead of West. So, you know, maybe Traverse City West might be rooting for Central for this one time. Just one time. Just, and they'll, they get there early. They can get some good seats for that game, maybe. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> and then get some good spots on the field for their actual game. Yeah, Cadillac, a tough team, and uh, we'll see if they can go the perfect 9-0. And, and if, this, if Central can beat them, that'll be a great uh, momentum win to go into the playoffs on. And uh, talking about momentum, wherever it's shifting over in Leelanau County for Glen Lake, we don't really know for sure. They just lost at Thurlby Field. So they're now 7-1 and one on the year, and they're playing a team, Chris, that ended their perfect regular season hopes last year. That would be North Muskegon, but this time they're meeting at Glen Lake. Yeah, you know, Glen Lake's going to probably be a little bit uh, angry coming off of that loss against uh, St. Francis. But, hey, you know, they're a good team. I think they proved that against in that game against St. Francis. Just weren't the best team that night. You know, and they're going to have their hands full, I think, with North Muskegon. That's a good team. They're looking to get that sixth win themselves and get into the playoffs. The teams they've lost to, I think two of them are ranked in the state. And, uh, you know, any team from that side of the state, when you get towards the Muskegon and the Grand Rapids areas, is going to be really tough. So, you know, that'll be a good challenge for Glen Lake heading into the postseason, and it'll probably get them ready for that 10th that, uh, week. It's definitely a trend we're noticing. A lot more of these teams, uh, it used to be a lot of UP to uh, upper lower peninsula crossover matchups. Now we're getting a lot of uh, western Michigan down in the Grand Rapids area. Those opponents going back and forth with the teams up here and that's giving the teams up here a good test to uh, see what the playoffs might be like down the stretch and give them quality playoff Yeah, points. it just makes sense. You know, everyone's so close, you know, in proximity, just a short drive down 31 or 131. Might as well take advantage of those good matchups. Definitely. And we've got a great game. I want to touch on it before we leave. Up north, uh, kind of what I call the battle of the UP versus the LP. St. Ignace traveling a little south of the bridge to play Sheboygan. That one's always an exciting game between those two. And I uh, can't wait to see what happens in that one as well.